everybody. Welcome back. This is Jess. Okay, so it's been, at the time I'm saying this, it's been at least two weeks-ish, give or take a few days, since the last time I recorded an episode. I don't really remember what we're supposed to do. Maybe Buddy knows. Let's review what we've learned here, Buddy. Crabs are dangerous in large numbers. Always wear a helmet when jumping through fire. Crackheads love tea. I meant what we've learned about Morky Corp's activities on the beach. Oh, right. Sure thing, pal. I'm ready if you are. Yeah, let's figure this out. I'm with you, pal. All the pieces are starting to fall into place. They sure are, pal. I like this area better. You can... The... Focus works better on the the text box quicker. Tell me how, just in case I have no idea what's going on. Mr. Suckers was angry because something was intruding upon his deep sea territory. Yuki set up Monkey Corp's Mubo Shop as a front so she could operate her submarine at night. So Yuki is looking for something deep underwater in her sub. Look, if you had something that Morky Corp really wanted, Morky was really wanted, what would you do? Huh? Get it away from Morky Puss! <laughs> right, would you put it on a ship and sail it somewhere far away? Sure, maybe, but after the ship arrived there would be records of the cargo and passengers, right? Unless the ship never arrived. What if Cyrus and Dr. Gray tried to move the Nightmare Crown? But the ship was on, it was on sink. That's it! Yuki's trying to salvage a sunken ship! We've got to find out what she's after! But how are we going to do that? We don't have a submarine. Yeah, just a stupid useless jet. And that's just not useless. Are you with us, Stu? Oh, you again. Dr. F, how's your day going? Great! Just send me with my robot. I told him I converted to solar power. Got me a day at the beach. That's <laughs> real slick, dude. I respect your religious beliefs. <laughs> you can use tow every DC salvage. I specifically engineered him to operate remotely under several atmospheres of uh, pressure. That's convenient. Not really. I also programmed him with an irritational fear of kelp. The irrational fear of kelp. Just like Skywarp's irrational fear of stasis cuffs. Kelp! Kelp! No! Don't make me go! <laughs> Is he okay? He's so slimy. He will be fine! You just hack into Tober's brain and reprogram him. Okay, hacking. I will question my decision to artificially induce kelpophobia in a robot. Thanks, Dr. F. Wait, where did I leave to work remote control? I asked it. <laughs> Dr. F, give me permission to hack Tobor to remove his programmed fear of super kelp. I need to get Tobor's lost remote control before I can get him to obey my commands. Let's try hacking first. If we can find the friggin' guy, where'd he go? There you are, stupid. Hack. Wait for me. And da da. Oh, poop. Got it. Ready to take a swim tower? Not really. I was just fine soaking up the rays. But if you have my remote, I suppose I won't have a choice. Sorry, but we need your help. At least the hacking was successful. True, kelp no longer bothers me. So technically I could swim, but now I can never go near a park again. Thanks. <laughs> no parks? Squirrels with their beady, wee beady eyes, bushy tails, and conversation. The terror. Oh, he, he you, you be quiet. <laughs> I made him afraid of squirrels. Genius. Dig. 
Nothing but sand in this pile. Dig here. Nothing but sand. Poo. Crap on a cracker with a side of crap fries. Nothing but sand in the pile. There's the kelp he was going to be afraid of, but we, program we reprogrammed him to be afraid of squirrels. Maybe this one? Nothing but sand. I'm going to be upset now. I'm going to be upset. Dig. Dig, dig, dig. Dig in. Yes, there appears to be something metal buried under this, buried in the sand. And radio remote control that's seen the business end of a few too many beach toy shovels. Fortunately, the remote is broken and needs a new battery. Maybe Dr. F can help. Run! Turkey on a fork. Ow. You can tell me about the Tobor's remote control. It's the definition of brilliance. I engineered him to do all of my pacing for me. Saves me epics of time while I'm printing. Yeah, it sounds useful. Unexpectedly, it also works for a piloting Tobor in Paris environments. <laughs> like after a Cecil rocket explosion in space. Anything I need to make it work? It will likely be out of power. Or worse, I just happen to foresee this and I have an extra battery for the remote. Extra battery for the remote control. I can power up the da da. I'm gonna repair it! Run! Oh! The sand did not break my fall. Because I fell on a rock. Ow. Oh god, not another one. Well, I'm not even going to bother trying to get this in this video. I am going to take care of it next time, and we will catch up from there. See you later.